single dragadiddle. It's basically a paradiddle, and you take the first note and put a diddle on it. So it's an accented diddle. It's the only rudiment in the list of 40 rudiments with an accent on a 30-second note diddle. So this creates a little problem here, or a different kind of technique. You want to be careful you don't play that accent too hard. If you play it too hard, you're going to hear the first note, and the second note is going to get buried underneath. Okay, let me, let me demonstrate that. Okay, so I want to take a little bit off of that accent and I want to think of both notes of the, th of the 30 second note diddle as being accented. I want them both loud. So the same strokes apply to the drag diddle as the pair diddle. The upstroke is in the same place. It's just the accent, I'm not going to hit the drum as hard, a little more finesse more fingers so I can get that second note out. Take a little bit off the accent, use the fingers for the second note of the diddle, and you're good to go. As I play this rudiment faster, there's a, there's a control issue with my diddles. The first one's a very quick 32nd note, and then the second one is 16th notes. So you have to use your wrists and fingers and watch the spacing of the diddles. As we go on, we're going to start mixing rudiments. In fact, that kind of is a hybrid itself. It's a paradiddle with a diddle on the front end of it. Hybrid rudiments, when you take two rudiments, throw them together. This is the beginning of what we call the cheese hybrids. So we're putting a diddle on the accent. I could put a grace note right before the diddle and all of a sudden we have a cheese dragadiddle, if you will. Some people call them stutter diddles. Call it what you want, just play it. So here's some cheese on a dragadiddle. I could now add another diddle on the second note of the dragadiddle. That'd be a five stroke roll. So a flam five. So here's some more cheese. So be creative. Add some diddles, some grace notes, some cayenne pepper, and whatever. You know, be creative, have fun with your rudiments, take it to the next level. But first, work on the basics. One hand at a time at very slow tempos. That's how you get there. Is getting your technique down and then adding these other things, being creative, having fun, practicing. Go practice. Mm -hmm.